Hi, welcome to another episode of Mike Check. This episode, Game Night. Now, some people say that playing board games, card games, any games really are boring. But that's a lie. It all depends on who you're playing with and how competitive they are. Aha, yes! And that's what's so great about this film. It's confidence in a relatively simple and risky concept and making it funny just by making the film be about competition. Which, it turns out, is a surprisingly complex thing. It seems like it. One, two... Ha ha! All right, all right. You Don't get to over your bridges. bridges. To grandmother's house we go. Okay, all right, all right. But, how about we raise the stakes a little bit? What, your, your whole bank account? But, no, no, I just... I want to seem cool, I don't have any cash on me. Anyway, as you'd expect, the game night gets intensified by Baden's brother upping the stakes. You're not gonna know what's real and what's fake. And, as you'd also expect, there are some real elements to the danger that they're in, but there are surprisingly enough twists and turns that even trick the audience at times. Ow, oh, you kidding yes. me! Haha, <laughs> you bit more than you could chew. Which is exactly the opposite of what the movie does. Yeah, the movie actually takes the simplicity of the characters and uses them to the max, and every single pairing of characters results in hilarity every single time. One, two, I win! Damn it! But what's the most impressive is how the filmmaking, the shot composition, the overhead models that make the real world seem like game pieces is way better than you actually had in your right to be. There's a long tracking shot, and cool angles from the perspective of the game pieces, and it really seems like a movie that's already very good is trying even harder. BLOOD! <sighs> Don't knock it over. I will end you. Then you'll have nobody to play with but yourself. Good, cause then I'll always win! You were saying? The movie actually uses a very cliche storyline and connects it to character and theme. The storyline being the immature man who's not ready to have a child. Sort of similar to the arc that Dr. Grant has in Jurassic Park, it takes a risk on a cliché plot that in many movies actually drags him down. But here it provides a nice sentiment that ties into the movie really nicely. It makes for a hysterical film with a lot of heart. And then a squeaky toy. For the pain. That's smart, huh? What do you give the film? Oh, I don't know. A B plus? Well, I give it an A minus. All right. Our rating on three. One, two, three. Five full price. War.